Dean, great win. Your initial thoughts after that? Yeah, <laughs> great to win. Obviously, it gets a little bit nervy late when you're 1-0 up, but I thought we managed the game OK. Um, not our slickest. We made a lot of entries, uh, a lot of corners, a lot of uh, throw-ins, a lot of restarts into their box without really haunting them, haunting them. We had opportunity to do that, we didn't take it. So it gets a bit nervy. And full credit to Solihull, full credit to Ards. He set his team up really well. Um, I know they're missing a lot of players, but um, they made it difficult for us. And, um, and like I said... Like I said before, after you play the Notts Counties and the Wrexham, it takes a lot out of you. So I'm delighted that we've managed, obviously, the last four games the way we have. Um, drawing with Bromley was important. Um, we should have won at Maidstone. We sh- I felt we should have won at the weekend by a, by a goal. Um, and today to win 1-0 is, uh, is good, really good. It was great to get the three points. Harry Smith came back on Saturday. Today, back on the pitch, getting the goal. How great was it to see him back on the score sheet? Yeah, I think Pritch had a big help and hand in the goal. It was a good play down that side. He's hung up at the far post and to be fair to Harry, that's food and drink to him. Um, that's what he's all about. He looked a bit sharper today. I didn't want to play him as long as I have. He's been out a long time. I said this to you the other day. He's been out a long time. Obviously, Nicky's been out for a little bit. Didn't want to play Cropsy as long, but the way the game went, um, he's, had, he's had to stay on the pitch. So um, We have lads that have been out and the games have been ticking fast for us. This is our last midweek. I think since around the middle of January we've been playing Saturday, Tuesday all the way till now. So like This weekend will be a very tough game as well, so we've got to dust ourselves down, recover well and move on. And uh, Obviously, we want to try cement fifth place. Again, uh, it was great to get the win today, but miss a lot of our chances today. And it's been a sort of a running thing the last few games. What do we need to do to improve on that? I think sometimes that's fatigue levels because of the volume of games we've had. Um, we create a lot of chances. We always have. My teams have always scored goals. I think we might be the two or the four toughest goal scorers in the division. Um, and sometimes it just goes like that, you know. So we just got to make sure we keep creating chances. We keep creating them, we'll score goals. And obviously that win does now mean we are in the playoffs this season. Obviously you still want to go and try and get that home tie now. But what a great achievement for this football club. Yeah, good achievement. Um, look, we've got to just be humble, keep our feet firmly on the floor. That's my job to do that. Um, and we've got to move on to Saturday quick. Um, so yeah, so it's a massive game for Saturday. Um, and we'd like to get a home tie. Our home form is excellent. Um, so look, we'll see how it goes. No games are easy in this division. And we move on to Maidenhead Saturday and obviously they're in the situation they are. We're a very experienced manager. Um, so we know it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy. It's a real tough place to go as well. So we gotta sort of get back on it again the way we were on Saturday to that level of performance. And post match we saw the chairman come on and join the post match celebrations. How great is it to see him out there? I'm delighted for our chairman and his family. They put a lot of effort into this football club. This is their football club. I said to him the other day, I said he asked me about um what do you think about opening sort of the players' bar again? And I said to him, look, Chelsea are playing. He says, I don't care about Chelsea, you know. <laughs> I said to him, well, Arsenal are going well. I said, I don't care about that. I only care about Barnet. So that sums up his love and care for his football club. I'm delighted for him. He comes in for a lot of stick, but I thought, you know, he stuck by me over the last couple of years. And uh, we've grown our relationship and it helps when you've got support like that. We've uh, brought stability. Now we're starting to grow a little bit more and start to bring a tiny bit of success by achieving the playoffs. But can we now go do the, and be the real deal? and make an impact in the playoffs. Um, so yeah, look, I say I'm delighted for Natasha, and uh, she does a great job for us too. You, the client, as well, Alex, everyone that walks around the hoy of yourselves, it's a great achievement for all of us because there's been a lot of dark days lately at our football club. So we've brought everything together. We've got to continue to do that. But if you're resting your laurels in this business, it's, it does one thing to you. So you know, it's got a thing of it kicking you in the teeth. So we just got to stay on the front foot, keep throwing jabs, and, uh, and move on to the next game as quick as we can. And, someone who, and people who certainly enjoyed tonight were our supporters. They're in fine voice tonight for out. What's your message to them? Yeah, delight, I'm delighted for our supporters as well. They've been through some dark days. You know, I spoke to a lot of them on, on the Player of the Year Awards. Um, they were so delighted with 400 in there. They were all delighted and you could see the buzz around the place. Uh, but that just comes from the players' hard work. And you know, I always set the tone with the players. It's all about hard work, togetherness. Without that, you can't achieve anything in this business. And to be fair to the players, they bought into it. The chairman myself started it. And then it's just filtered down to the staff and then into the, into the supporters. And I would say the players are the ones that are going to the line. So they're the ones putting their bodies on the line. So they deserve full credit. And finally, now we look ahead to Saturday. We take on Maidenhead, who are fighting for survival. How's the next few games, uh, ne- next few days, going to look for the team? Well, the lads will have tomorrow off, uh, recover well. They'll have to do their Strava, uh, report that in. 
And then uh, Tuesday, Friday, we'll prepare like we normally do in play on Tuesday, a bit more recovery. And Friday, we'll have restarts and that and get ready for uh, what's going to be a very tough game with a very experienced management team. Uh, a manager that knows this level inside out. Um, so and it's a very tough place to go. It's not many teams go there and get results. So we're going to have to step up and, uh, and make sure we perform a bit more to the level we performed at on Saturday. And uh, we'll see how we get on. It's not going to be easy. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time. Cheers.